happy Sunday, my friends. It's the start of a new week for me here on the vlog, and it's Palm Sunday, so I'm donning my red, donning my red dress for Palm Sunday. Um, <laughs> we got done with the uh, first two masses that I sang and headed to brunch with our pastor and one of our deacons. It was fun. We um, hit up this small little cafe that I guess um, has only been around for six months or so, so it was really good. I had the salmon scramble and they had acai bowls and then they had this this smoothie thing that was like mango with like chamoy and the, and the um, tahini. Oh, it was so good. Uh, they gave us a little sample of that because I saw someone had ordered it at a different table and I was like, that looks so good. What is it? Um, and it was delicious. So I think we'll probably make our way back there at some point. Support, you know, it's nice to support local businesses, especially small ones, especially new ones in this climate. You know, it's, a, it's really hard to survive in this kind of climate. But I think you guys are a little bit fuzzy here. So let me... I think that's a little bit better. Headed home now. It's 1240 and I'm just going to change into some comfy clothes and be a complete couch potato today. Uh, if I feel energized enough to do so, I will probably start clearing out the current vanity because the guys are coming back to start the demo in the bathroom so that we can replace our vanity. It's really, really happening and it's happening so fast. And there is a part of me that wants to push it back a week um, until after Easter because, you know, it's a busy week for us at church and I want to be able to, to focus on that. I'm gonna have to drop the dogs off at my mom's just to make it easier so they don't have to be cooped up in the bedroom while the guys are working because they just bark and they get really disturbed when there are like strangers in the house. Um, and then plus we don't want them like getting into the, you know, where they're demoing and stuff just for safety and everything. So I'll have to do that um, Monday night. Yeah, I guess I'll have to do it Monday night. That is my Sunday. It's a beautiful, lovely day. I mean, the, the weather's not 100% superb, but uh, for all intents and purposes, it's a lovely, lovely day. That's it for my uh, Sunday chicken. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Look at my baby. My baby was cold because he has no more fur. Look at him holding a baby again. Literally just woke up, I could tell. Oh, are you sleeping again? So I thought he got startled. No. Okay, he's better now. Happy Monday. <laughs> It is Monday and uh, Bambino and I are on the way to the vet. Um, he has his annual checkup today and he's doing dental. So Monday morning update. Uh, yes, taking Bambino to the vet today. Um, yesterday, Sunday was a very nice day. I am pooped. I still got up so early this morning at 4.30 because Miss Capri was pacing again. I truly believe she has a bit of dementia, um, so we'll get her in to the vet um, so they can, you know, evaluate her. She's got her appointment scheduled as well, so, um, but not for like a month or so, I think. We have our small groups. It's our last one uh, before Easter, so I've got that gonna bring dinner I think just because we have a lot of things going on this week with it being like Easter's coming up and uh, the bathroom is going to be moving along so we're gonna have some guys demo the bathroom and remove the, the current vanity I think starting tomorrow so I'm gonna take these dogs at some point I don't know when to do it though if I should do it tonight because he's going to be pretty groggy and all of that from being under anesthesia. Uh, but they are starting tomorrow, um, so maybe I don't know. Anyway, I gotta figure that out. I gotta figure that out. You gotta start working on uh, Easter music, that 
that's a big thing I gotta do this week that I would like to get it out as soon as possible just because we have um, some new people that I'm bringing in for the special weekend I think for all intents and purposes that's my Monday um, just vet and when I get back home um, today on Monday today I really have to clear out underneath the vanity just to clear it so that they can demo it starting tomorrow last week's video went live early this morning and you know as I'm editing these things I'm thinking oh my gosh these are so so long these super long chatty vlogs but I mean I don't understand how people can do a weekly vlog literally in under 30 minutes I don't know even though my life is not interesting um, you know relatively speaking I, I just kind of do everyday sort of normal things I don't know how someone can can upload video that is like 15 minutes or even 20 minutes 20 minutes like that's a day like when I um, import videos and stuff to all the editing software that I use on my phone like one day alone is like 20 minutes that I have to pare down to like you know just depending on what I have to say and I know I'm a rambler but I'm the kind of person that likes to include everything because I do these videos for me you know more than anything yes I like to share but it's basically like my diary you know what I mean so I don't want to have to like edit too much or censor too much because I'm putting it out there but I would like to include as much as I can without oversharing uh, so anyway I better go I will see you later as the day progresses okay hope you guys had a great weekend I am back decided to go to the store this morning I decided I'm gonna make chicken marsala pasta tonight for small groups so I got all the stuff I needed for that. I got a bunch of mushrooms, some shallots, I have some Italian parsley, some Parmesan, uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I actually got extra mushrooms because, you know, these like shrink down and I can always use them in something later. I also got this on sale. It's a pork tenderloin um, for four bucks. So that's not for tonight, obviously. I got some cottage cheese to replenish. Oh, and then, oops. I was gonna get um, pappardelle for the pasta, but it was just like expensive. I was like, mm, I'm just gonna get fettuccine. So I think this will work. So I got two pounds of that. And then I got some almond milk for some cereal that we have. So a uh, total is 48 and change. And I'm gonna put this away now. I'll make this a little bit later towards, closer towards when we have to leave to go to dinner. Um, and then, uh, what else am I gonna do? Oh, I forgot. I really wanna make butter cookies for Easter. I bought the cookie cutters last week. Um, I want to do at least the Easter eggs and maybe the um, the cross, but I need to figure out how to make this happen. I think I can make the cookies. I think I can make the cookies today um, and then just kind of decorate during the week. I'm a little nervous because if we have the guys working construction and stuff like in the bathroom, I mean, obviously it's separated, but I don't want, I don't want to be dusty and you know, stuff like that. So, um, I don't know. I'll at least bake the cookies and I'll be ready to decorate. So I hope I can get that done for Easter. All right, I'm gonna put this stuff away and I'll see you guys later. I decided I'm gonna go ahead and try to make some cookies. And I remembered I had some frozen butter cookie dough in the freezer from last fall. I've never done this before. Obviously I, I refrigerate, well maybe not obviously, but I do refrigerate my cookie dough before I roll it out. So I'm hoping that this will still be okay. I really didn't want to throw it out. There's so much dough left. So I'm gonna try to just defrost it. I'll make a few to start with these and then, and then if I need to make more cookies, maybe I'll make them later. So that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, these are still frozen rock solid. So, okay, this is happening. <laughs>
almost 12.30. I got the call that Bambino will be ready after three, so he's just kind of like, you know, he's chilling, kind of wearing off the anesthesia and everything. Everything looks good, so my baby's healthy. Um, <laughs> I did one side of the vanity, uh, the cabinet. I haven't done the drawers, and I haven't done the other side, the other cabinet, but this is what I have so far. Um, I did throw some things out, and <laughs> I feel like... I may have like a hair appliance problem. <laughs> I have so many curling irons and then plus I have my hot rollers, but I just, I love my hair. I can't help it. Like lots of women, I am sure, like your hair is your crowning glory. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like my hair is thinned over the years and yeah, I'm getting the white hairs, but you know, that's just part of it, right? But I just... I just love my long hair and I did trim it a bit. It used to be like way longer, but I just love to have some hair to play with. I'm always like running my fingers through my hair. Just, I don't know. I, I, I will always love long hair. I don't know that I will ever, ever have short hair, but you know, never say never, I guess. Anyway, I am just taking a quick breather and um, we saw the cookies. I made 30 little Easter egg cookies. They're about two and a half inches maybe. I'm gonna have to make more dough, but I got 30 of those little Easter egg cookies out of the frozen dough and they look great. Uh, I hope they taste good. I didn't taste one. Um, so I'll need to make more dough, roll out more cookies and bake them later today if I have a chance. Actually, I'll probably, I'll probably have to roll it out tomorrow. Maybe I'll make the dough if I have a chance because it's 12.30. I still have to do dinner later and I definitely have to finish the bathroom. So number one priority, you got to prioritize when you have goals for the day. So priority bathroom because the guys are going to start tomorrow morning and then dinner. I'm going to get that started and then if I have time, I'll make cookies. But okay, I'm going to take a quick breather on the couch and I'll see you later. Okay, it's almost 2, it's like 1.45. This terror... It's empty, empty, <laughs> empty, empty, and empty. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get rid of this. So uh, last bit, um, I'm just gonna empty this out here. But for the most part, bathroom is done. Uh, it's all on our favorite flat surface in the dining room area. <laughs> surprise, surprise, yes. It is here, but I did throw away a bunch of stuff. Um, I need to go more in depth into here. I really just wanted to get it empty. And then when we get the new vanity, I will um, ruthlessly go through all of this stuff here because um, we need to, but yeah. And then I've got some things for giveaway. I've got some hair dyes. I really don't have any intention to dye my hair anymore, so. Hey, okay, okay, so that's done. Um, what else did I say I wanted to do? Bake cookies? I think I'll put that off. I'll put that off until my, tonight if I have a chance, if I feel like doing it. But um, other than that, we are done. And I'm going to pick Bambino up in about an hour or so. Look who I got. I got a Bambino. All right, Betty. You just hang out there, okay? You want to go up there? Good spot, but okay. So, he got a clean bill of health so far. We're just waiting for a stool sample, but they said no, no news is good news, huh, buddy? So they said if we don't hear in a couple, this is fine. Oh, look at that little fluffy dog over there. Do you see the clouds behind me? Is it gonna rain? It doesn't feel like it. It's kind of warm. Okay, I need the keys, buddy. Okay, go home. He must be a little bit hungry, maybe, but he did get dental. He did get dental, so, um, but he didn't get any extractions. He didn't have anything pulled out because they said your teeth look really good. Oh, yes, your teeth look really good. Okay, so the only thing left on the agenda, besides the cookies, which are optional, and I'll probably won't do, is I gotta make dinner. Um, I'm thinking I should start dinner at five, like start prepping and everything at five. I always have the major case of procrastination, so <laughs> let's eat for five o'clock. 
Someone's very sleepy. Very sleepy, buddy. Oh, he's, he's falling asleep. Um, oh my gosh, it's, um, what time is it? I want to say it's about 4.30, and I was just literally, I'm watching YouTube, and I'm falling asleep on the couch, and I'm like, <laughs> I literally was so tired that I looked up a restaurant to see how much it would be to order dinner <laughs> instead of cooking tonight. Oh my gosh, literally my eyes are just like, uh, because I told you I didn't get very good sleep because Capri woke up so early and she was pacing around 4.30 and I'm like, two days, 4.30 in a row, or two days in a row waking up at 4.30 is, um, it's not good. That's why I decided, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get up right now and have a sip of my, my, what do you call it? Not Crystal Light, but you know, like the Walmart version of Crystal Light. And I'm like, okay, I better stand up. I'll grab my phone, just record this little bit here and then use it for a reference. I think what I'm gonna do is for the chicken marsala, what I need to do is pretty simple. I think I have made it once before, but I think it was a different recipe. And I don't know which one it was that I used, but basically cut the chicken into about one inch kind of cubes, one inch pieces. You dredge it in some flour and seasoning, um, and then you brown that off, remove that. Then you're going to cook down some mushrooms with marsala and you know other ingredients and stuff like that. And you make this sauce, and then you add the chicken back to it, and then you're gonna cook the pasta separately and add the pasta eventually. So I thought, you know what, it's 4.30. I know it's still too early to like really cook everything, but I'm going to, once I'm done recording this little clip, I'm going to put together the, put together the dredging coating, you know, for the chicken. And um, what else should I do? And then probably just cut up the chicken so it's ready to go. I don't know, should I dredge it? Is it, would it be weird if I dredged it early? I think I'll just, I'll mix up the dry ingredients um, so that it's ready to go and then cut up the chicken so that's ready to go. Um, but I'm like, if I don't do something now, I'm literally going to just lay on the couch because it's all gray outside right now. I'm gonna lay on the couch <laughs> and then I'm gonna end up calling Rob to ask him if he could pick up food so I don't have to cook. But I already bought the stuff, so we're gonna cook, right? Right, okay, let's do this. I'll share what it looks like at dinner tonight as I normally do, so. Okay, wish me luck, let's get this done. Okay, I'm getting ready to put everything together. So we've got our mushrooms on top. We have shallots on top. Here's the dredging flour. I don't know, it doesn't seem like a lot, but, and then we've got our chicken, so. Put this together and show you what it looks like at dinner. Good morning, happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Small groups was totally fun last night, as always. Um, the recipe was good. I thought it was a little bit acidic, but I did kind of like make my own, not make my own, but I took the initiative to make a little bit more of the sauce. So I think I may have added a little bit more uh, vinegar than it should have had. But anyway, it's 7.45 right now and we are getting ready, well, at least I am. I'm just cleaning up the sink and then I'm gonna take the dogs over to my mom's for the rest of the week while the people do the, the bathroom demo. Allegedly, they're supposed to finish by Friday. I don't know. Don't know if that's going to happen or not. Rob took the day today, so that will give me a chance to run over to my mom's, drop off the dog, um, and then he's gonna go up to see his mom today uh, when I get back. So that's pretty much our, um, our Tuesday. That's really, really happening. <laughs> it's really happening. So I'm excited about that. Got another package coming in from Amazon. I believe it might be 
the um, the tub and faucet stuff, tub tub and shower faucet that I ordered. But that's out for delivery, so we'll see when that comes in. It's really hard to find one online that kind of um, was like a three handle. For some reason, it was really hard to find a three handle. I guess that's not the standard anymore. Everybody has like one of these single handle shower tub things. <sighs> some days I wish we had a dishwasher. <laughs> so I didn't have to do the dishwasher. I like our small kitchen. It's cozy. It does what it needs, you know. I mentioned before that we have really, really tiny, we don't have a lot of like storage space. Like cabinets wise, like we don't have a pantry. We don't like a full on walk in pantry or anything like that. So I try to make sure that I don't buy too much from the store because we just basically have like a cabinet. So I'm just gonna finish this up and then I will get ready and take uh, the dogs over to my mom's. So I'll see you later today. Okay, I was on my way home from my mom's and the most awesome thing happened. I stopped at REI because I broke my no buy um, because it was such a good deal. I bought uh, another Patagonia and I think I might actually switch out my size. So maybe it's not really going against my no buy because if I return my blue one, this will take its place and I bought that before my no buy. Anyway, what I was trying to say was that um, I was standing in line waiting to pick up my order and there was a couple behind me and the woman taps me on the shoulder and she said, oh, have you done El Camino? You know, the Camino, uh, the pilgrimage, Camino de Santiago. And I said, yeah. And I guess they were had pulled in behind me and they saw I have a, I have a Camino shell sticker on my car. Um, it's very like nondescript. You wouldn't know what it was unless you've done the Camino or you're planning on doing the Camino, you've done any kind of research on the Camino. Um, and so I was like, yes, have you done it? And she's like, yeah, we're, I've done it twice before. Um, we're going to go and do it again um, together because she and I don't know if it was her husband, partner, boyfriend, I don't know, um, the person that she was with. And I was, you know, we got to chatting in line and, and then we got up to the registers and we were still chatting about it. It's like, it's so funny because when you see the sticker and you know it's the Camino, it's really like a secret society because not everybody knows what that means. It means, it doesn't mean anything to a person that is not connected in some way to the Camino. You know what I mean? So it's a very special thing and it's so cool to meet other people who have such a passion for it and a love of the Camino even if they don't do it as a pilgrimage per se but if they you know they just like to hike or they just want to see a new country um yeah it's just it's so cool I love that connection I love that connection because it's such a special it's such a special walk and um I said oh when are you leaving and she said April 22nd I was like oh, that's my birthday <laughs> so it was sweet she goes I'm gonna think of you on your birthday because um, that's when they're leaving to go on the Camino and I am definitely 100% gonna think of them that just brightened this gloomy day headed back home now Rob is still there um, he's gonna head up probably as soon as I get there head up to his mom's and um, take her to her doctor's appointment. The 12 15 update. <laughs> I'm working on um, Easter music for this weekend, Easter vigil uh, and Sunday masses. I'm kind of cheating a little bit. I'm going with mostly what I did last year. So, but this is, it's like all spread out because I got to get like all the music uploaded to the Dropbox folder, but I need to find some music. Um, I, whenever I use sheet music, I literally don't file it away. So this is all stuff that I haven't put back in the binder. <laughs> so yeah, um, but 
I have goals that they're actually gonna get back into these tabs so that I can find things easily, but I am currently sifting through all of the loose sheets to see if I can find the, um, <laughs> the song I'm looking for because it's not under age for hallelujah. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. But yeah, guys working on demo stuff. Um, there's only one guy here. He said it'll probably be done around 2.30 maybe. I don't have any plans to really do anything else other than this and then hopefully start on cookies, like making a batch of cookie dough. Um, but this is more important. So I'm gonna do this first and then uh, and then hopefully I'll get to cookies. Okay, I think I've done the music for the vigil Saturday night. Um, it's almost two o'clock. Um, I am warming up some pasta and I'm gonna have the leftover chicken marsala. So that'll be my lunch, but got a package uh, from Amazon. I think these are our Home Depot. These are the handles. Okay, whoa. Okay, it looks like two different sets. Here's the first one. Okay, this is option number three. Very weighty. Ooh, I really like this. I really like this. Just... Let me go get the faucet. Here's the faucet. Here's the handle. I think this goes really well, actually. Like here's the detail there, and then it's got this kind of little detail around the base of that. I think that I think that looks really good. And I think the finish is really good too, actually. Okay, all right, okay. Let's look at the other one. Option number four. Okay. All right, this one is a lot thinner. It's definitely really squared off and there's not as much detail around here. So I think this is the winner of the four, 100%. I like this one. It goes the best, it goes the best. Okay, um, I'm going to double check my Home Depot order, see if I have ordered any other ones that are still coming in. But I think this is going to be the winner. I just hope I ordered the right size. Yeah. So, it's very exciting. But wait, there's more. Got the shower tub thing. Oh, here's the tub. <laughs> The little shower spigot. It's a little shower. It's very small. Hmm. What is this? Is that supposed to go in the wall? I'm gonna go ask the guy. Okay. Day one. So they took the old vanity out. Um, they're gonna remove the mirrors. That lighting fixture, that's the bubble lights that I state. And then um, I asked if they could remove the medicine cabinet and we're gonna just build that onto kind of one of those little niche shelf things so that we could put, you know, I don't know, Q-tips, cotton swab, you know, that kind of thing. But anyway, the old medicine cabinet didn't really go, won't really go anyway. So that's where we're at. And I think he's gonna be coming back tomorrow to continue doing some things. Um, I'm off now to go to Home Depot. I'm gonna go ahead and return the handles that I don't really like because 100%, let me turn off the TV, 100%, I really like the ones that I showed you that I was kind of excited about. So, and then that last set, um, I didn't think I even showed you what they looked like, but they were like a no, 100% no. Uh, and then the other thing is I have some other returns in the car. I'm gonna do those. They were potential Easter dresses. Um, I'm gonna return those. I need to get some money back. So this is a expensive process, but that is where I'm headed now and I'll see you guys later. I'll probably catch you tomorrow. morning happy Tuesday it's 8 13 and uh, you saw I just put the 
dough, the cookie dough in the fridge so that can just firm up and I'll be ready for when I need to roll them out, cut them and bake them. So today, unfortunately, the guys aren't gonna be here. Um, there were some other people that called out and so the guy that was working yesterday had to go do the things that the other people couldn't do, so. <laughs> um, so I am free today and I'm just eating the last of the einkorn pancakes that I had stuck in the fridge, so. So my agenda for today consists of baking cookies, uh, probably starting to decorate maybe um, a small batch. And then I wanna head to Home Depot and or Lowe's. I might just drive out to somewhere to see if I can find maybe a different faucet, shower faucet thing since the guys aren't working today. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't read reviews on the faucet that we got for the shower but there were some reviews that said like, oh, the water pressure isn't great. So I don't know, is that the faucet itself or is that like, is that like the plumbing? I don't know. So I'm gonna do just a tiny bit more research online. I'm gonna see what's available like in store um, because they do need to cut through the walls in order to install the tub if we wanna go with like a newer kind of model thing like with the valves and stuff. Cause apparently, well, this house was built in the 60s, 60s or 70s, 60s, I think. And um, it's got the old stuff. So like the new handles and stuff don't fit on the old valves. So there, we just decided let's just cut into the wall, switch out the valve. So it, like everything's like newer. And so like, if we wanted to replace it again, um, you, we wouldn't have to go through the wall. I mean, like this is the time to do it when everything is like demolished. Um, bathroom's already like a mess. So let's just cut into the wall upgrade it so that if we want to change it down the line that we can change it again without having to like go into the wall again. So that is my plan for today. Oh, and I need to send out music for Sunday, for Easter Sunday. And that's my Tuesday, Wednesday, it's Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Why do I, <laughs> why is this such a problem? Is it Wednesday? Yeah, okay, it's Wednesday. That's my Wednesday. I'll see you guys later finish this up and have a good day. Hope you guys are having a, a good one. Feeling slightly motivated, so I am prepping asparagus for tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna cook that um, turkey tenderloin that I picked up from the store. Oh my gosh, it was such a good deal. Like literally, actually this is a slightly older one, but $3.13, $3, $3. That's gonna be dinner, oh my gosh. <laughs> What's going on? 313 is 313. Turkey is going to be for dinner with roast asparagus. And I do have a solitary potato. So I might do something with that. We'll see. Um, so now I'm going to finish that off. Uh, and then once that's done, I'm going to change and run my little errands because I love a morning errand run. You know what I mean? Like I am a morning. I'm a morning person. <laughs> and then when I come home, then I'll settle down and do the music, do the cookies, all the things I need to do. So, okay, see you on the road. Okay, we are on the road. I'm headed to Walmart. I'm gonna go to Walmart. I'm gonna go to Costco. I'm glad I actually made the asparagus this morning because when I went to go reach for the parchment to line the pan, I realized I didn't have enough parchment, so I'm gonna wipe parchment because I'll need those to roll out the cookies. I like to roll them in between parchment, just makes life a little bit easier. So that's where I'm headed right now. Go to Walmart and do those things. Um, while I'm out, I'm gonna kind of like see if I can find shower curtain rod. Um, like I said, pop into like a Home Depot or Lowe's and see if they have anything better that I could like kind of just Google reviews and stuff like that. I also want to take a look at the towel bar sets and stuff like that because I did look on Amazon and I found maybe like one or two things, but I, you know, I just like to see things in, in real life. I just, I just do. So, um, and maybe a shower curtain. I know I'm kind of jumping the gun with like the shower curtain when we don't even have a shower curtain rod or the shower put together yet, but you know, those are the kinds of things that give me life. So. Okay, I literally am only on my second place. I just left Trader Joe's <laughs> because I needed fortification. Um, yeah, carbs aren't, obviously they don't fill you up so much. But anyway, I picked up this uncured applewood smoked 
salami. It's gonna be like my little morning snack. It's almost 11. Just wanted something like savory, so I'm just gonna eat these little guys. Cheese would be good with this too, but I don't know what it is, but I feel like now that I'm older, I'm closer to 50 than I am to 40, that I just don't have the stamina required to shop all day like I used to. <laughs> and maybe it's just being lazy. I don't know. I think I, I think I can do it, but just like the motivation and the desire to keep going and shopping, I just, it's not there anymore. When I was a younger mom, I had this like mom guilt that I had to stop my shopping early because I felt like I was neglecting my mom duties at home. You know what I mean? Even though Rob would be at home with Colin and stuff like that. Um, I felt like I couldn't have like my me time, even though I really wanted my me time alone at the store or wherever it was I was going. But I would have this mom guilt that made me rush through my shopping process because I had to get home and, you know, tend to my child. But Natty is not even here. He's it's away at school. I feel the same pull with my dogs, <laughs> but the dogs aren't even home today. So I don't know what it is. I just, I feel like I need to be at home, but when I'm at home, I'm bored. And then I want to be out. But when I'm out, I want to be at home. Does, am I <laughs> the only person that ever feels that way? I don't, I'm not really sure how to describe it, but, and as I was leaving Walmart, I thought, man, I don't want to go to Costco really don't want to go to Home Depot. So I'm not going to Costco because that one's a little jog away, but since I'm headed back home, Home Depot is on the way. I'll pop in and take a look to see if they have like the shower head situation and then I'll go home. But yeah, I just, I don't, I just don't feel motivated to shop. It's really weird. <laughs> what is this indifference to shopping? Like, who is that? Who am I? All right, well, this salami is probably gonna be my lunch because it's very caloric, but um, this gives me something to do, something to nibble on while I get to Home Depot and then um, so that I can do the things I need to do, do when I get home, mainly make the cookies. All right, I'll see you guys later. Let me show you what I picked up from Walmart. I got the parchment paper. So normally I get like the unbleached, but that was like really short so i just got this one i did get more eggs like i needed i got a strawberry cake mix because i'm gonna be making um just strawberry cupcakes for a birthday next week for the um for goodness cakes and i did find a dress at walmart um possibly for easter i'm gonna try it with a sweater but it's really nice it's actually satin um it's got a v-neck it's just one of these you know it's a long I don't know what you call them, satin dress. Um, it was $34, so let me try it on with my sweater. Um, I do have one similar, but it's got like a cowl neck thing and it's kind of <laughs> kind of shows a little bit. So I wanna see what this one looks like with the sweater. And then at Trader Joe's, I showed you the salami already. I picked up uh, the salad, broccoli and kale slaw. And then I did get some chicken so I can add that to this or for lunches and stuff like that this week. And then I got two more Farabelle's in these flavors. And then Home Depot did not have what I was looking for. They had the majority of the shower tub faucet things all have like the single handle and that's not the way ours is set up. So it's really hard to find one with the three handle things in the big box stores at least because I guess everybody's doing the single thing now so um I thought maybe what we'll do is we'll just keep the set we have and then if we don't like the shower head we can just buy another shower head just separately on its own and replace that so we don't have to actually replace the entire system valve system and all of that um so that's kind of like my compromise because I was stressing out. I'm like, oh, we need to find one before they start tearing into the wall. Um, but I think we can go ahead and use that system and just change out the shower head, which is a good solution, I think. Um, and I got more paint chips. So I'm still trying to figure out 
what color I want to paint in here. All of the other colors that I had selected last time were really like on the darker side of the spectrum. Um, and I was FaceTiming Colin uh, one time and he was like, well, can you pick something maybe, maybe something a little bit lighter? I'm like, okay, well, so I got these. These are sort of like more mid-tone, I think. So this one's leaning a little bit more blue. I don't know. I don't know about that. That's kind of like too pastel -y looking, I think. But, and then these are kind of like almost, you know, in the background, kind of have a little grayish tone, tinge to them, a little grayish um, hue. And then I got these paint chips from the Glidden section. I don't know. Um, kind of like somewhere here in the bottom third. So this is not a priority, but I was there. I felt weird leaving empty handed because I didn't, they didn't have the shower stuff. So, all right. So that is it. I'm going to put this in the fridge and put everything else away. It's almost two and I have the first sheet of cookies. <laughs> Cross is done. Look how big these are. These are big cookies. Oh my gosh, my hands are so old. Oh, I'm so old. But yeah, so that's the first batch. I have another batch in the oven currently. I have a bit more dough that I put back in the fridge while these are um, baking off. Um, just another couple minutes for these. Uh, and I, I made a little list like, okay, well, who do I want to give crosses to? Because I wanted to do like a set of crosses and Easter eggs. And I want to have like a minimum, make sure I have at least this many for the people I pretty sure I'm gonna see on Sunday. That's pretty much my Saturday. No, it's not Saturday. Oh my gosh. Hello. That's my Wednesday. That's Wednesday. It's my Wednesday and I'm gonna sign off for today. Um, I'm just gonna keep doing this and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello, happy Thursday. I'm checking in for the first time. It's almost 1.30. <laughs> I'm on the road. I'm going back to the bake shop um, to pick up some supplies for the cake, for the cake, not the cake, for the cookies that I'm making for Easter. So I spent all day yesterday pretty much, you know, baking cookies and um, working on music and stuff for this very special Easter weekend. And today I was just finishing up some more of that music stuff and finishing up the last half batch of cookies, but I need to buy more royal icing mix. I don't make my own royal icing. You know, I try to take shortcuts where I can and the mix that I get from the make shop is pretty decent. I like it. It works for me, so that's why I'm gonna go get a couple because I only have like half bag left. And then I also need to buy some bags, like poly bags, so that I can bag them all, so. The guy hasn't started yet today. He, like I mentioned, he wasn't there yesterday because he had to finish some stuff for people that were out. Today, he had to finish some punch list stuff. I don't know if I mentioned, but they're just kind of squeezing us in uh, their sort of rotation, so. You beggars can't be choosers, you know me. I would love to have this done ASAP, but I understand they're just fitting us in where they can in their schedule. With Easter coming up, I don't know how much I'll share with you before Easter, so I may call the vlog now. If I come back with a couple little snippets here and there, uh, so be it. But. I'm fairly confident this will be the end of this video um, and then I'll share with you all of the Easter festivities in the next weekly vlog but I'll sign up for now if you guys celebrate Easter happy Easter and I wish you and your families well and all blessings